Oh, another bike review already. Here is my recently acquired 2001 DRZ 400S. 2001. What a year. Holy shit, that was 20 years ago? For 20 years, this bike has really aged quite well. I'm unsure if I can say that it was well taken care of, but it was certainly well stored. Weighing in at just over 10,000 miles, this DRZ has been brought into the world of 2012 Supermoto vloggers with a set of blue Warp 9 wheels. I have to say, I think the blue complements the yellow on yellow on yellow scheme quite nicely. And luckily for me, because the Warp 9s are aftermarket, this bike came with a set of dirt wheels. Sweet! This is my DRZ. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My DRZ is my best friend. It is my life. I must master it, as I must master my life. Uh, sorry, uh, I got distracted there. Let's check out what's not so good on this particular DRZ. Starting off, this DRZ has a cracked overflow reservoir, and you know what? I've got a video on that. It's got a slapped out chain. Uh, the rear sprocket looks like the mouth of Jaws from said slapped out chain. <laughs> The carb does bog down, but it is an FCR carb, nothing some tuning won't fix. This bike has Imgo mirrors. Someone didn't put bar end mirrors on the bike. It's a Christmas miracle. It does have a shaved seat. Uh, while I am shorter and I appreciate this, uh, the botched arts and crafts doesn't look great. Take your time, kids. No need to have your seat looking like Jessica's thighs hopping out of her Plymouth Neon on a July day. Coming straight out of a Rocky Mountain ATV catalog, we have cool, red, and smoked mismatched blinkers. The entire bike, which I guess is the theme of the whole thing, is fitted with cool bro stickers, bro. Drink Sobe! I'm assuming that Sobe was monster prior to the Patriot Act. This is a 20-year-old bike, after all. Can you even buy Sobe anymore? I've thought about doing a custom livery job on this bike. Should I do an SG Moto themed one tied in with 2001? What a weird time in pop culture history you had. Sobe, Dial-Up, MSN Messenger, Creed, Wikipedia, Lifehouse, Enron, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Anthrax, Not the Scotty and Kind, Monsters, Inc., iTunes, Green Ketchup, Shrek, Shark Attack, Smash Mouth, and the loss of Dale Earnhardt. Raise hail, praise Dale. Well, let me know in the comments below if you think I should do some kind of themed livery. The good on this bike? Ah, there's plenty of good. It's got a manual cam chain tensioner already. Like I said earlier, the FCR carb. OEM-ish mirrors. It did come with a box of goodies, too. Included in this box are an oversized rotor. This is a good one. I've actually owned this one before. A battery tender. Sycra, Circra, however the hell you say that. Bark busters with a quarter of the necessary mounting hardware. A Trail Tech Vapor. A sticker. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. It's a license plate mount. And an Edge LED tail lamp. It also has the aforementioned dirt wheels, the $1,000 Warp 9 rims, and an exhaust. All in all, not too bad. I will enjoy putting some miles on this bike and making a few videos of it. And as always, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. Channel interaction really helps.